don't consider myself to be a particularly ethical person, but I am fair. But I am fair. Holy. That was fucking scary. <laughs> That is six shots, six straight hour old shots of that me espresso. Hey, hi, how are you, my sweet little soupy poopies? I have been working on that screen time. I've been racking it up. I've been building up towers and castles of screen time. And you know that I have been all over Instagram Reels and TikTok within my little parental timely limit that I've given myself per app. If you'd like to know, they're right here this much time per day. To a town that's right for me. Don't judge me, I have a problem and I know it. Anywho, on each app separately, I have found some very weird but very intriguing drink recipes. And you know me, I am a beverage girly through and through. I will have four different ones at once, a kombucha, a water, a coffee, a tea, a something sweet, something salty, something in-betweener, in the wiener. So these little drinks had me feeling freaky deaky and I wanted to try them. So I'm gonna try them with you and let you know if they're any good, if they're worth it, if they're not. And we'll see if my camera stays in focus this time because last video it was really not having it. <laughs> We're gonna start off the day with our coffee drink. Now, the coffee drink in question, a cookie butter latte. I am a whore for the Delta Airplane cookies is what I call them. However, they are also known as Lotus Biscoff Cookie. I never had cookie butter before I bought it for this video yesterday, and this... <laughs> I have already eaten half of this jar just with a spoon. I can see why this is going to be good in a coffee, so let's give it a try. I'm going to try it with both a latte situation, so with espresso and milk, and then I also have cold brew to try it which with. Which I'm a little skeptical if it'll mix, so let me grab a cup. I did buy plastic cups just for this video for a later recipe, so I'm just going to make them all in the plastic cup. And you know what? They're from recycled plastic. Do not come for me. To begin... I'm gonna take the cookie butter. Do a nice spoonful. Oh my fucking god! I almost forgot. Right. Cause does your local barista look like this? Recycle me cool original taste. The sugar. No, I didn't think so. My espresso's old, so we're gonna refresh it with a little bit of instant espresso, also from this brand. Megda Megdalia Doro. Me Megdalia Doro. Doro. Megdalia. I'm Italian, so don't even say anything. Teaspoon of this to hot water. Take your little cup. Oh my god, that looks crazy. We're gonna do a little teaspoon. A little bit of our espresso, that me. I'm gonna add a little hot water. Now that your espresso is ready, grab your cookie butter. And we're just gonna do a big ass measurement. Oh, it's not mixing at all. Okay. Now make your cup, then add some ice, your milk of choice, mine is going to be soy, don't mind the chia seeds lid, this is repurposing in this house, a little bit of vanilla soy milk, about three quarters of the way, and then put your shit one swap. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Give it a little mixy mix. 
It smells good. Somebody tell me if there's a difference between the Scooby-Doo graham cracker cookies and a Biscoff because they have a very similar flavor. Looking like chocolate milk. Let's give it a try. Oh, 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 that is so good. Don't play with me right now. This is delicious. It's like, oh, it's like the perfect mix of like sweet, but like creamy, but like a little nutty because of the cinnamon and everything in the, in the, in the butter or whatever. Oh, try it in a cold brew. For this one, we're going to make it kind of like a dog bowl because I saw somebody online do that with uh, peanut butter. So they put cookie butter in the cup, like towards the bottom, like a spread, like that, I guess. And then again, we're gonna do some ice, some more of our soy milk, and cold brew. Spill it everywhere gonna mix this one also it looks good it looks more like a smoothie than a coffee let's give it to go that's just cold bro I don't taste I don't taste the um, cookie butter at all. I guess because it's not mixing because the cold brew is not melting it at all. You could just double fist it, you know, a spoonful of cookie butter and then drink your your drink. Mm. Cold brew's not it. <coughs> We're gonna stick with the latte. Next up, we have what I believe to be a like Utah thing because I feel like they're very frisky with their sodas over there. And it's this marshmallow Coca Cola, or I've also seen it with Dr. Pepper. And they coat marshmallow fluff in the cup. And then I don't know what they're calling it, I think they're calling it a fluffy Coke. To me, this makes no sense because the just like we did with the cold brew, it doesn't mix because it's cold and it's also on the outside of the cup. It's kind of useless, if you ask me. It intrigued me either way because I love marshmallow. I love s'mores flavor. Like a root beer float aura. One caveat though, we're gonna make this vegan. So no marshmallow fluff. We're gonna use marshmallow topping, which I think will actually work in our favor because it's a little more liquidy. So it should mix a little bit more and you can taste a little bit more. The other caveat, the place I was shopping at to get these ingredients did not have cookie cola. Did not have Coca-Cola. No Coca- No Coca-Cola light. No Coca-Cola. No, no Coca-Cola anywhere, any aisle. I was in a health food store, but that's none of your business. So I bought the Coca-Cola dupe. Coca-Cola dupe Oli Pop. I don't think this is the one that got the lawsuit for the fiber, right? Like that was like another one that was like another pop something. Anyways, we got the vintage vintage cola shade of Olipop for the soda bit. And then we're gonna do Smucker's topping and another plastic cup. Sally Mae, or I don't know who it is. <laughs> Little girl puts hella marshmallow fluff. So we're gonna put hella marshmallow topping. This just tastes like straight cane sugar. Like this. I'm gonna put some ice in it. And then our olipa.
I think I need a straw for this one. Let me grab a straw. So I did buy cups, but I did not buy straws. And it turns out the only straw I have is the smallest one known to man. So hopefully it does not fuck it up. No. Don't fuck it up. But it's looking like dirty mop water. Mm, like the color right now. Slurpage. Let's give it a try. Yeah, there's no marshmallow flavor. It's not even sweet either. It's just... This one's a no. This one's a no for me. Let's I like it. I like the name Fluffy Coke, Fluffy Coca Cola, but but look how fun this is. I can make a shape in the marshmallow. Yeah. No. No. So sorry. Love you, Utah girls, but no. Back to my babe. This one is the reason I bought the plastic cups in the first place, because you need them to make the chocolate crack milk <laughs> i don't i don't really know what they're calling it. cracking chocolate milk crack milk something 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 basically you put melted chocolate or i'm guessing magic shell like the ice cream top on the outside of the cup lots of shit on the outside of the cup but you put the chocolate on the outside and then you fill it with milk and then you like Honestly, I was a little pissed off when I first saw this video because I'm like, that's not chocolate milk, babe. That's shards of glass of chocolate in your mouth. But the more I thought about it, maybe she's onto something. I don't know this girl. Maybe she knows something I don't. Give it a try. Take your cup or melted chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips. This is not as much chocolate as I maybe need because I did eat half the bag. Don't, don't say a word. So, <laughs> cover your cup in melted chocolate. Yay! The energy I get from it. Okay, we're gonna make it a nice thick shell. I'm hoping milk is cold enough to get the desired result. Once you have a nice layer of chocolate, Chocolate. Once you turn into Willy Wonka, once you become Augustus Gloop, that's what I was feeling like eating from this freaking bag of chocolate chips. Basically what had happened was, I put a whole bag of jelly oh beans. Take your soy yeah. milk once again. Pour it in. I'm not going to put ice in this. I don't think there's supposed to be ice in this, but... Oh shit, I don't have enough soy. Almond milk. Hopefully this doesn't ruin it. What were those called? The like cereal straws? I really want this to work just for the satisfaction and like the ASMR of like crunching some hard fucking chocolate. Oh my God, I think it's working. Chocolate, 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 chocolate. So in theory, this is just chocolate milk. I think it's time. La, 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 la. We're gonna crack it. Oh. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Ooh, ooh, this is like a sensory toy. Squinch, 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 squinch. Squinch, 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 squinch. Wait, let me do it this way. Breath in. All right, you see my shards? This is kind of giving me, um, remember when people were making those grass jelly drinks? Let me try and see if it's chocolatey at all. Yeah, no, that's still milk. Let me mix it up. I'm just getting chunks of cold chocolate. Yeah, how disappointing. Maybe if you had like a boba straw or like you were eating this with a spoon. It's just milk. It's just milk. Last but not least, this one I'm very excited for because I found this on my page and nobody watched it but me, but it looks so good and I love this little boy. This is heavily context clued, but basically it looks like mango ice cream, mango like milkshake kind of. I got two regular mangoes and then two champagne. We're gonna cut them all up and make mango cremacito. Let's begin. Cut up your mangoes. Okay, rico. So I said I did context clues on the ingredients, but 
what I need is more context on who is this little man. Making a full gourmet meal back in this kitchen. Mango cremosito, more like minor, more like child labor. Mango cremosito! Now his mangoes were Jainimanosaurus, and he also had like, I don't know, four or five of them. We're gonna do what we have and then adjust our ingredients to match. How crazy was that that she canceled Ellen in one interview? I don't know if you see what I'm doing here, but I'm putting all this mango into a um, blender down here. Okay, the time has come. I'm going to blend. What do you think I should blend on? Okay, it's a little pulpy. I think that's right. So, I'm gonna be making mine in this big container. It's not dirty, it's just stained, okay? First off, we're gonna add some ice. Then your mango. Leche. About a cup. Mysterious creamy liquid. <laughs> just kidding, it's condensed milk. However, again, vegan. So I made this with a can of coconut milk and a third a cup of sugar on the stove, 45 minutes low simmer until it covers the back of a spoon and condenses down about half to a third of the original size. And then I threw it in the fridge overnight. I'm going to add, I think the whole thing. Yes. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of ice cream. I am so hoping this is good because a summertime frozen mango situation. Ooh, goodness. Just like him, grab your big ladle. See this? Can you see this? I think it's supposed to be fully mixed. It's looking like Dole Whip. Mango cremosito! Okay, it does look a little off-putting because of the chunkiness, but I think it's I think it's going to redeem itself. So don't you worry. I'm gonna ladle. Ooh, I'm so excited. Don't forget the garnish. A couple of extra mango pieces right on top. Mango cremacito! Mmm. That is delicious. The mango cremacito too good. He fell over. All right, this one. Woo wee! Oh, and the coconut. Oh, right now, I think we're in a tie for my favorite, being either mango cremacito or the last spit of cookie butter latte. If you're gonna make anything. Make cookie butter coffees and mango cremositos. Kill the Dr. Pepper, Coca-Cola, Fluffy, whatever. Kill your chocolate milk. Spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. Thank you for coming. Remy the Red, it's sweet. The ride of only dream. I do recommend you try these two and these two only. Enjoy because they're good. That's all I have for this video. I have given you all that I have to give. Let me know if my chewing triggered you. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> well, yes. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah, no. If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like this video, give it a like.
Here is the aftermath. My carpet's dirty from everything I spilled.